Dead. Welcome back, my flock. Hey. The Bad Raven here and the man, the myth, the legend. Drew Drop. Drew Drop. What are we up to today, Drew Drop? Uh, nothing much. It's Halloween season, and with it being Halloween season, there's a lot of movies going out. So me and my dad are about to watch... Smile 2. Smile 2. The this, sequel. This is, of course, the sequel to the first Smile that came out a little over two years ago. I can't believe it's been that long since the first one came out. I feel like it just came out just a second ago. It's already two years old. And they came out with the second one now. It is now starring Naomi Scott. I remember seeing her from the Power oh. Rangers movie back yeah. in the day. That was the first time I ever saw her in anything was was that movie. So she's the star of this movie. Of course, she is a pop star. Now the smile curse has come after her. With that being me me and my dad really liking the first movie we're really excited to watch this movie because mm -hmm. the first movie was really good it was a really big surprise oh, yeah. and I hope that this movie can continue the smile storyline in a in a good way well what do you got to say about it Battery I'm Raven? excited to see I hope it's a really good horror film I hope it's creepy I hope it's got a good aesthetic to it where it really builds tension I oh want, yeah I want that kind of stuff i want i want a really good halloween movie right now because it's just like a week out ain't it or something the actual halloween day yeah like halloween's just about two weeks away and i thought it was kind of crazy they came out so much earlier waiting so late to the movie come out close to halloween it may pay off for them i don't know I, I i hope it's good i'm i'm just excited either way this is the second movie i'm assuming before i even go into this movie i'm assuming that they're going they're going to do three of these i mean just at least doing, a trilogy at least three of them so at least a trilogy so i i'm assuming from before going into this one that we have at least one more movie left after this when that movie will come out i don't know i say probably another two years so maybe 2026 this movie though I just can't wait to jump right on in here and I want to know more about the lore the lore of the, the smile oh, yeah. creature and all that kind of stuff I want to know more about I hope they give us a little more of that oh know? yeah I hope us, they give us more answers to the lore cause there's a lot of questions that me and the bad raven had and a lot of other people had like my friends they always wonder like okay what if you do this like yeah. what if you do that like they never really went into that in the well, first movie well, hopefully we'll find out more and hopefully they do something in this movie that kind of answers some of our questions uh, hopefully it does that and i'm hoping for some good kills i'm yeah. hoping for some good Definitely. Co good kills it's rated r so i'm hoping for some uh you know we i'm not expecting terrifier level kills because i mean it's not nc-17 or not yeah. rated it's not like terrifier i'm not expecting terrifier level of gore but i i do want me some gore i do want me some graphic kills because the first one the was first one on was it had kills but it was a lot more lighter in my opinion was it pg-13 or was it r the first one I can't remember. I feel like it was rated R because... This one rated R? Yeah, this one's rated R. So it probably was rated R. The first one was rated R because of the... I remember the first kill of the movie, which... I mean, yeah. it's kind of a minor spoiler, but it's in the trailer. The the girl from the first movie that does the smile that, uh, that commits suicide. But basically, it shows... Blood. It shows the blood. It shows a lot of it. Uh, and it was probably the most graphic kill of the movie. I'm expecting just as much if not more than that we're going to go ahead and uh, cut it there and we're just going to go ahead and just go ahead and watch this trailer and we'll catch you on the other side
something really crazy is happening to me. I keep seeing this face everywhere. You witnessed a death. Now it's latched onto you. That's, that's a pretty cool shirt you got. Want me to sign it? Okay, hey. we're back out of the movie. Just got out of the movie. All right. I thought the girl that uh, played the main character in this, the one who used to be in the Power Ranger. Movie. Naomi Scott. Naomi Scott. Uh, I think she definitely had to carry this whole movie on her shoulders. and She's a good actress. I, li I liked her performance yes. in it. Only really the drawback to me was the, the length of the movie. Felt like it kind of yeah. kind of meandered around at about middle ways through it trying to I guess to tell the story but it seemed like they did a lot that they didn't have to do in there because she's a singer you see and it was a lot of that and, and you i understand they wanted to give her backstory and they kind of did flashbacks and stuff with that in there which is good you had to know why the, the stuff in her life had caused all that so i, I like that part but it just seemed like it just took a while to kind of get going into the situation with the thing that uh, we all came for yeah all in all i still liked the story, the basic story of it all, and the acting. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to see more of the Smile. Definitely getting a Smile 3. <laughs> Can't wait for Smile 3. Uh, Going to come out probably in the next couple of years. Naomi Scott did an amazing job in this movie. Like, it, it plans the character. What was it, Sky? Yeah, Sky. She was the singer. Sky pop, Riley. Pop singer, yeah. Pop singer. Sky Riley. And it really showed like the stress of like what happens when you're a famous person. Yeah, you know, I liked that part. I liked how it showed like all the stuff that she had to go through as a famous person, all the st and all the other things that come along with it. It was really, really balls to the wall. I was actually surprised by how graphic it was. It's oh, actually, yeah. it was pretty gory in a lot of it. Like there was some kills. I was like, okay, this is. This is definitely more graphic than, than the, the first, first one. Yeah. First one's nowhere near as graphic as this one. If you were wanting some good kills, you get it in this one. It's a lot crazier. A lot of situations are crazier. Mm -hmm. And I, overall, I had a good time watching this movie. I had fun. It w did drag a little bit in some parts, but overall, I thought it was a pretty good movie. What was you, well, what was you... I was going to say before I gave my rating, it didn't expand the lore as much as I wanted it, it to. It really didn't. Uh, yeah. It did do some things that I can't say. I don't want to give anything away. This is a, a no, no spoilers. Yeah, a no spoiler. spoiler. Yeah. I still feel as lost, which maybe it's a good thing I don't know more, because a lot of times you don't want to know the secrets of a character's yeah. reasoning or whatever, or an entity or whatever the heck this thing is. I just felt like in that front, it just pretty much came, it came beat for beat as the first. Yeah. That story was it was just a different person going through it, <laughs> basically. But I did like the beginning of it, how it ties the first movie. And the yeah, because the first the beginning part of it really ties mm. the first one to the second movie. Yeah, it it, it was really cool. Well, I want to give my rating. I want to say just go see it. If you like the first one, you will like this one. Oh I yes, think. I liked it. Was it? Anything you see a second one of where they've done it before, it kind of gives you a notch down. But I still liked well, either the formula. I still like yeah. the formula of it. And it does make you scratch your head a little bit, uh, stuff that happens. But I'd say just go see it. I'd say that just go see it as well. If you are wanting a good, scary movie, if you're a fan of The First Smile, you're going to like this movie a lot. Really, really fun. Really suspense-heavy 
then some of the jump scares in this movie were really well crafted. They caught me twice the jump scares. Too. Some of the jump scares, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, there were some good jump scares in this yeah. movie. And they did it in a way where, because usually when you're watching a movie, you you see the the jump scare coming. You see mm -hmm. like it coming, and there is some parts of that. But there's also a lot of parts where you're like, oh, well, like it gets yeah. you. And yeah, it got me good one time, but then the second time it got me too. But I mean, the first when it got me, I was yeah, I was like, I did that, you know? Yeah, I thought that was the, the jump scares were really good. So well, I have to say, just go see it. I'm just gonna say it's very psychological too. That too. Very, it's very in here. Yeah, very in your brain. So be ready to use your brain as far as mm -hmm. all the psychological stuff going. And that'll be it. All right. We'd like to say thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to us on social media. We would greatly appreciate anything you could do for the channel. Check mm -hmm. out the Tee Public store. Order something from the Drew Drop or the Bad Raven to help the channel would be greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. Always remember the Bad Raven is your friend. And from the Drew, Drew Drop, Drop and the Bad Raven, we're going to let you go, and we'll talk at you later. And Drew Drop out. Bye.